Hello there, this is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube. Welcome to another video. This is another video in my Sage 50 accounts tutorial. I'm now going to start on the supplier module. So just summarizing very quickly, um, or give it an overview of what has been covered already. I went through the nominal ledger, adding nominal accounts, viewing nominal accounts, editing accounts, getting to know the nominal ledger. I then went to the customer ledger or the customer module sales ledger and showed you how to add new customers, edit customers, view customer records, view activity on customer accounts, how to print statements, print age debtors analysis reports, record invoices, record credit notes. I then showed you the invoice module and how to raise invoices on Sage. I'm now going to go through the supplier module. Now the supplier module is very similar, almost identical to the customer module. Obviously it covers the purchase ledger and it's used for recording transactions with suppliers but the layout is pretty much the same just clicking between the two it's pretty much the same screen and we have the same features at the top here with the reports the letters the new batch invoice and batch credit so to add a new supplier it's just the same as adding a new customer you can click the new icon at the top here and add a new supplier by filling in these details. But you can also click on this wizard, which is better if you are new to the software. So put in the supplier information. I'm just gonna fill this in very quickly. So all of this can be entered. Next, telephone number. Website, email, contact name. Default nominal code. So let's say we use this supplier for materials that we purchase, that's fine. And the tax code is T1. Terms are 15 days, they've been agreed. That's 15. Next, okay. It's worth entering your supplier's bank details because obviously you're going to make payments to them. So you may want to add that information in here. Next, no, there isn't an opening balance, create. And there's our supplier. So very straightforward, same thing. I'm basically repeating what I did um, when I added a customer on the customer module. Let's just add another one. I'll take a bit more time this time. So let's say this supplier is fast supplies LTD. The account reference is brought up automatically. Put in their address. Next, telephone number, fax. I don't know if anyone really uses fax anymore. Website, contact name, VAT number if you have one. This time, let's say we use them for just scanning through our office stationery. So I'll click on that. And then T1 is the tax code. Terms agreed. Put in the information once again, and then we have another supplier. So very straightforward, just use the wizard up here 
and fill in the details and keep clicking next um, and then when you get to the end click create and that's how you add a new supplier this is a credit supplier on Sage. In the next video, I'll show you how to edit supplier records. It's just the same as customer records. And then I'll move on to recording supplier invoices.